welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Marianne Karaoke. if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe and you have subscribed welcome back to another video um so today i'm going to talk about my part two video of the coronavirus situation um uh, just a few things that i want to encourage you guys and talk to you about and yeah let's get into the video Yeah, um, I haven't oiled it, but you know what? I made my hair and I'm comfortable, I'm at peace. So, huh. today, 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 I want to continue with the coronavirus video part two. If you haven't watched part one, um, I'll put it in the description box. You can uh, click on the link and watch the video and i hope you may be encouraged huh. okay so hmm, where should i start from <laughs> you know god has been so good during this period the whole of this period and last week last week monday was it monday Uhuru, open the country <laughs> i know all of us are excited and uh yeah like life hasn't really gone back to normal the way it should be but you know what at least we can go somewhere we can go to places we can go to Nivasha, you can travel you know i miss traveling so <clears throat> i don't know who else misses traveling but i do and uh, yeah we just pray everything goes back to normal in the way it was before but even as things go back to normal um i think we should pray we should pray that um as much as we want to raha, happy nini nini, we still have to be conscious like wear your mask sanitize wash your hands even if you're going to naivasha nakuru whatever you know what um the coronavirus is still here it's still here with us and um, we are still trusting and believing in God that He will come through and this thing will end like Kabisa, Itaisha Kabisa, and never to come back. So, just a few things. Um, the reason why I'm saying that God has been good, He has really seen me through, He has really seen my family through, uh, my friends, and um, oh, um, I have juice over here. I've blended juice. So. Mm. I I just want to encourage you guys. This is not really like a story, but just an encouragement that no matter what your situation, because there have been other things tougher than coronavirus. The only thing that's making this corona um, tougher is cause we can't get you, we can't get closer to each other. We can't do things the way we used to do. You know, our children are going back to school till next year. Like men, if you are finished from four or class eight this year, okay, I'm sorry, I am so sorry, but strong, strong, we will make it. Next year, 2021, <laughs> that will be now our new 2020, our new decade. That's where it's going to start. Because this year, it has been wasted. Like, it just went to waste like that completely. But um, the thing, as, as long as God is there, God is there. God never leaves his people. He never, he has never forsaken us. You understand? He has never forsaken us. And he hasn't started now. There's a playlist that I did a few weeks, a few weeks past. 
and uh, I, I I did a song list of the songs that really kept me going in this season. So if you're feeling low, if you're feeling like all hope is gone, just click on that video and maybe you, you're going to be encouraged. The churches have been opened, finally. Um, but really, one hour, really, is it really... Like, you're one hour and your present worship. <laughs> you're the one hour and your present worship. Your uh, maybe announcements and whatever goes on before the word. And now the, now the word comes, it takes like one and a half hours or two hours. So I don't know how we are going to manage this like one hour in church. So that one hour covers present worship. It covers announcements. It covers all the things that that um, happens to your church happens in church rather and uh, no it also covers the white like hey one hour i must say it is okay uhuru we thank you <laughs> thank you for that one hour but still wait for you asana to tell you the truth but it's all good it's all good um <clears throat> I want to encourage you today that never lose hope. Things are tough. For sure, things are tough. But one thing remains that God is still on the throne. One thing remains that He will never forsake. He, he has never forsaken His people. One thing remains that God loves us. One thing remains that God still forgives us. One thing remains that God is still there. God is still there and he is alive. He died and on the third day he rose again. He died for you and me so that we can live a holy life, we can live a righteous life. And um, as much as as much as much all this happened, we have been in lockdown I think for three months now. As much as all these things happened, that doesn't make us to lose hope. So, um, the other day I was talking to, I called a friend of mine, a really close friend of mine, and uh, we were talking about this season. So we said like, if you haven't had time with God, if you haven't gotten closer with God in this season, then I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because... Um, if you look at when coronavirus started, everything shut down. Everything around the world, everything went to shut down. But God, God was there. God was in that situation. And we never know what happens. Even now, we don't know what will happen in the next couple of months, next year, if this thing is going to die, if this thing is going to be, is going to increase or decrease. You know, we don't know. But God... God knew 2020 there's a pandemic that's going to destroy the world. He knew God is we we might not always um maybe we we don't know what will happen next but God always knows. He knows our next step. He knows um what will happen to our kids when they go back to school like he knows how our businesses are he knows every single thing about your life he knows every single thing about your life so we were laughing about it like if you haven't got, gotten closer with god in this season uh, i don't know i <laughs> i don't know it's crazy it's insane but um this season was a time to reflect about your life it was a time to reflect about your business, it was a time to reflect about um, basically what surrounds you. <clears throat> and um, as for me, I have realized that I can do so much. <laughs> I can, first of all, I realized that, um, okay, I got closer with God in this season. And maybe sometimes you might, you might not pray, you might not read the word, but, um, 
you 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 talk to God and you share with him like your challenges and he always comes through. But just a matter of course of one so another thing is I have I, I have <laughs> this is a funny one. I have known another side of me that I never knew. First of all, I started my YouTube channel in this uh, period. I started in April, and uh, it's been it's been the first few videos. I couldn't show my face. I couldn't show my face. So I used to talk in the background, and I used to make videos that I don't want to be seen in them. But I realized that this is about me. This video, so that you guys can know me better, I need to show myself out there. And uh, hmm, it has been pretty good. It has been. I, I cannot complain. It has been pretty good. And uh, yeah, now I do videos. I don't even want to talk like behind the. the I, I don't want to be um, a background voice. I don't know if you're getting. But I just want to show myself. I want you guys to know me. I want to share so much with you guys. And I want to grow with you as well. So it's been, I realized that I can be really confident in front of the camera because um, what I do most is uh, I like being behind the camera. Behind the camera means I, I usually do video and photography, so I don't like to be seen. I like it to do it for other people and they look nice and they are happy, but as for me, mm -mm kwambelia camera no that's not that wasn't me but now the confidence that i have oh lord only jesus knows i have so much confidence that i can do this we can do this guys we can do this and i'm sure i'm sure by the end of the year by the time we are celebrating our first anniversary it's going to be one amazing milestone one amazing milestone uh, so Mm -hmm. I just want you guys to be encouraged like as much as the country has been opened like we have seen last week yeah I think last week um, the US was open but but they had 50,000 cases in a day 50,000 cases in a day that's huge like since this pandemic started there have never been cases like that in the u.s but now 50 more than 50,000 cases in a day and it's it's so heartbreaking it's so heartbreaking it's so painful that we even feel insecure to take our kids to school i i don't know it's it's a sad situation it's a really sad situation so as much as as much as we are celebrating that Uhuru, our president opened the country, I think we just need to be conscious. We, we need to take care, we need to continue taking care of ourselves, our health, our friends, our families, our children, um, our our grandparents. I think we need to take care of everyone that surrounds us so that we don't regret the opening. Let's continue going to work. If you're going with Matatu, Uber, or anything, Uber, sit at the park. Uh, Matatu, make sure no one sits next to you and always have a mask. And um, cause this thing, I've, I, I know this thing, this thing is, I've seen people with it. And, yeah, and it's been, it, it's real. So let's not assume, let's not ignore, and, uh, let's not assume anything that this corona is not here it doesn't exist no it does the corona does exist so let's be cautious um, i wanted this video to be a short one not really long and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i hope you enjoyed the video you have been encouraged a little bit